Hello, Casper. No. Uh, we could have the feeling that you feel you felt a little bit nervous in the beginning of the game. Is that true? Or? Yeah, it was not the best start, unfortunately. Um, obviously, I was broken early. I had a few chances to break back. I didn't get it, so was always kind of playing defensively, coming on the back foot, coming from behind, and um, yeah, I didn't really get the game going, unfortunately. And uh, Steph played well. You know, he plays aggressive. Fantastic with the forehand and playing also really well with the backhand today, I think. So, uh, didn't really find any holes in his game. And um, yeah, I didn't play good enough, as simple as that. And um, I think uh, there were a few, maybe small chances in the second where I had again some break chances, break points. But when you don't convert, it's uh, it's, it's tough to win, to win, the, uh, win, the, win the matches. <coughs> Uh, well done anyway, great Thank tournament. Uh, beat Djokovic is not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, well, you had uh, actually five break points in three different games in the second set. Yeah. Do you regret particularly one of them? I mean, do you think you had a, ch a better chance uh, in one of those? I mean, in the in actually, in one game you had three break points. Yeah, I, the only one I remembered it, which I will kind of think about and regret, is one time I had a forehand and I went big for it inside in, um, and it went long. And you know, I think that was a problem all all day. Um, when I played Steph in the past, uh, I think the the guy who is able to play most aggressive and best with the forehand typically wins the match. Um, I think we both prefer our forehand sides over the backhand. Um, and uh, but today he played also, like I said, heavy, good from his backhand side. So it wasn't like I found any big holes, and I was a little uh, tentative sometimes with the forehand in the beginning. So I missed a few in the net, and then I was just thinking, okay, just play loose, go for it, at least go for the winner. And then when I when I did, I felt like it was going too much out. So I didn't really find a good balance today, and. Uh, I had one break point there uh, where I went first one inside out and then I had the forehand to go inside in and I missed it long. So, of course, it's annoying and I uh, wish I could have that shot back. Maybe I would have done something else, but uh, at least I can say that I kind of went for it, but it didn't go in, unfortunately. Stefanos makes a lot of uh, serve and volley on the second mode. Do you think it was a key point of, uh, of this match? or? Yeah, it was. He didn't do it so much in the first set, and then in the second he changed up a bit. Uh, and yeah, I didn't return well enough today. Um, I had a few break points here and there, like we've talked about. So I was able to get to break point, but just couldn't really punch through and get the break. Sometimes because he, he, he served well, sometimes because he did the serve and volley. So uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, it's a part of the game. Um, it's part of when you're standing so far behind as I'm doing. It's uh, I'm vulnerable for this this, this play. Uh, yes, he seen uh, tried to play some uh, drop shots sometimes when Tsitsipas was staying a little bit mm -hmm. farther back. You mm, is not your kind of game. You don't like to do it ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that a reason? Uh, or you don't feel confident about it? Yeah, I don't. I don't consider it my my best shot. Um, I consider my forehand better than my drop shots, and uh, it's just something that I can be um, critical of my own in in my own game or of like, something I can be critical of in my own game because I don't maybe do it enough. I think. Like you said, Yannick has developed it as a very good shot. Carlos does it perfectly almost every time. Novak also, he plays the drop shot fantastic. So it's some, it's a shot to, to, to have in your repertoire and I don't have it so so good at the moment, but something maybe I should consider to work on. Um, Steph does it also quite well and uh, yeah, it's... Uh, but I just feel like if I have an easy forehand it's, uh, and I play with 100% power and top spin, I will maybe win seven or eight out of ten shots and if i hit the drop shot maybe i will win four or five so statistically i don't always see the point but if i can develop it to become a better shot maybe i will try to to do that was it maybe difficult to handle emotion uh, after a, such a win against novak or not really uh, but uh, you know it's um was obviously a tough match with novak yesterday and today Honestly, it was the first match that I played kind of during the day in uh, this uh, hot condition. So honestly, it was a bit bit different because uh, when the sun goes down, you're playing in the evening. It's uh, not as fast and bouncy as it was today. So it was a little bit to to adjust to the, the condition and the speed of the court. Um, 
but emotionally I was ready. I, I woke up today and thought, you know, today is the day I'm going to try to win a big, big title and um, just wasn't able to perform when I came on court. Uh, hi, Casper. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Um, how close do you feel from that uh, big title you're chasing? And uh, is it in terms of, of the level? Yeah. And um, is it difficult to, you know, f forget the negativity like uh, four times, five times, six times? You know, I've, I, today it didn't feel so close because I lost straight sets to Steph, uh, but he also played very well. Um, I told him on the court, I mean, he's uh, maybe had a few struggles um, in the last six, seven months. I think it's uh, uh, we can be open and say that. Um, he fell out of the top ten a few weeks ago for the first time in a really long time. So uh, now he will back, be back in it. I think that's where he, he belongs. His level is uh, really good when he plays like this. And uh, it's nice to see him back in the top ten. Mm. But um, yeah, in, in, for my sake, I think I've taken a few steps this week, but today it just didn't work out well. Uh, obviously, saying that I took a few steps, I I think I played well on the clay, and also obviously in the yesterday beating Novak was a fantastic win for me, and something that I hope I can kind of take confidence from. Maybe not today, but maybe next time I play a big match, or next time, hopefully, if I'm in a big final again, I will think about you know, you know, I've. Maybe the fact that I've beaten Novak before can be something that can give me confidence. Uh, you have uh, been very close to become number one in the world. Yeah. And uh, you were number two. Uh, and uh, uh, do you think, uh, what, what were you missing or what uh, should you do in order to go back to that situation if if it's possible in your dreamings or in reality and also last question you were sometimes uh, in great finals but unfortunately because uh, you, you didn't win them I mean mm -hmm. the, uh, Roland Garros uh, US Open here uh, what is missing in your opinion what what what, what uh, you would like to have more Apart from winning, yeah. Uh, obviously, we cannot go back and in, back in time. But uh, one year and a half ago, I was uh, like you said, I was uh, maybe not a few points, but quite close to winning. Uh, or I played at least the final in the U.S. Open and was fairly close. I mean, to become world number one, like you said, and um, that year was for me was fantastic. Um, and 2023 was a bit of a disappointment compared to 2022. But coming into 2023, I was prepared for, you know, it's going to be a really tough year because I have a lot of results to try to defend. And hopefully you always want to do better, but it's not always easy. Um, and this year I'm feeling like I'm a little bit more back on track. I play a little bit more loose, uh, not, not too much to lose anymore. I have achieved... Um, Sometimes when I think about it, more things that I thought was possible in my career. But by doing that, you also want to chase and push for even more. So obviously, a Grand Slam or a ATP 1000 is the next you know, big dream, big goal of mine. And today, I was able to play final of a 1000. I wasn't able to win. So I will continue to chase and uh, try to improve my game always. I've taken a few small steps, I think, in the right direction the last six months. Tennis, tennis wise, physically also, and uh, I think we are we are doing something right, and hopefully can continue on this uh, positive trend that I'm in.